You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Are you looking to heal yourself? Would you like to know and expand your gifts? Not sure what your purpose is on this planet? Carolee and Julia are here with the answers. A Call to Heal provides information and energy to make great change in your life. So let's welcome those two powerful energy movers, Julia and Carolee. Hello and welcome to A Call to Heal. I'm your host, Julia Stubbe. And hello, everyone. I'm your host, Carolee Schloes. And you are tuned into the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. So, Carolee, I cannot express our gratitude so much for our callers. Um, we appreciate each and every one of you who call in, who are listening live. For those of you listening to the recording, it's like we wouldn't have a show without you. So it's like our gratitude, our hearts filled for you. So thank you very much. And we actually have all our callers tonight, so we're grateful for that as well. Um, so we are facilitating healers for three of our callers. So in the future, if you would like to be on the radio and have us facilitate a call for you, please give us a call at 866-451-1451. Um, Carly, do, um, so, I have, go ahead. So each week, you know, we always start off with guided imagery and I know tonight that you have a really powerful guided meditation that you want to do. Are you ready for that? I am ready for that, and I just want everybody to sit back and relax, and if you are if you happen to be driving, then you want to listen to this at another time. For the rest of you, feel free to close your eyes to enhance the experience. So let's start with taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, and then blow out through the mouth as if you were blowing out a candle, releasing all the stress of the day. Now I'll take another nice deep breath in, breathing in love. And as you exhale, release out fear. And again, take one more nice deep breath in and blow it out through your mouth. Now see yourself under a beautiful blue diamond waterfall. Feel the healing energies of the waterfall flow over and through you, clearing all outside entities, all outside programming, and all outside influences, allowing you to be you, allowing you to connect with the higher aspects of you and only you, allowing you to connect with the powerful being within you. And bring your attention to your heart. Feel your heart, really feel it, and begin to allow your heart to fill with love and gratitude. Feel the love you have for Mother Earth. Think of her beauty and begin to send that love down through your chakras to her. And you will begin to feel her love return to you tenfold as what you sent to her. Feel it come up into your heart and then expand out through all your energy fields. Allow that energy to flow out through your crown and then wrap around you, back in through your root in the shape of an apple, a small percentage going into the earth, creating a perfect toroidal field in the shape of an apple. Now, Begin to feel the love you have for Father, for Source, and send this love up through your crown to the suns beyond the suns, 
see, know, or feel this love return to you a hundredfold. Feel it flow into your heart and expand out through all your energy fields. Allow that energy to flow out through your root, going up and around and back in through your crown in the shape of an apple. Allow your higher self to flow these energies perfectly through you. See, know, or feel the energies of Mother Earth and Source merging and flowing within you. Many of you are hearing a frequency symphony in your ears, a buzzing myriad of tones and vibrations. This is information being downloaded and awakening the coding in your DNA. Your human being is like a computer. Let us upgrade your computer systems so that you can process these frequencies, process this information with more ease. And let's start with the CPU, your brain, the central processing unit. And let's allow your cranial and your CPU to expand so that it can hold and process additional information with ease. And just feel that cranial expansion, releasing any pressure, any kind of headaches, letting that all release, upgrading that CPU. And then we want to upgrade your central core, that pillar of light that runs through you. And we're going to upgrade it with the latest fiber optic cord that is available that you are accommodating and coordinating with your physical being right now and your spiritual being. And just feel that expansion through your whole body. And we're also upgrading that grounding plug so that it can truly plug in and hold energy deep within the earth and fully connect you so that you can run this energy, this new information that's coming through you, processing this light through your body with ease. Upgrading the networking for a smoother connection and processing the information. And now we're going to upgrade the motherboard, the central hub between all the components. So this allows for the communication between all the parts of your body to communicate freely and easily and smoother. And at this time, we want to delete all the carbon-based and incompatible programs in your DNA. So just feel that all letting go. And we want to activate your new crystalline DNA, all the programs that can be run with your new motherboard and your new CPU, allowing them to be activated, awoken in your DNA. And now, just like a computer, we want to upgrade your virus scan, update that software program, and let's run that program, identifying the viruses, the portals, and the implants, and let's delete them. And just like we would to get everything centered in a computer, we're going to reboot, and we're going to reboot your chakras. So we want to empty the trash. That's your recycle bin. Run your defrag program, clearing any residual of the programs. And reboot your chakras, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. And we're also going to reboot your eighth chakra, 56, and recalibrating your DNA. And when you're ready, come back to this moment of now. And it is done. Awesome, Julia. Thank you for that powerful, powerful reboot and transformation. I feel super light. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) So it's interesting times right now, a lot of energy changing. It's like it's a really a a time where we're all going within. It's like, you know, we're we have this shut down throughout the whole world, this and it really gives you an opportunity to be able to just be. And a lot of a lot of beings on the planet, Carly, are having trouble with that because they're they're so used to going, going, going. They're they get bored. It's like I know you and me. It's like it's like when they said lockdown. It's like that was that didn't change much, did it? <laughs> it's like I was ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we live in that space where we stay home a lot and we meditate a lot and we're commune with nature and 
it's just different. But so this is like a big reboot for the planet right now, allowing everyone to slow down and really become centered and really see what's important in your life and what isn't necessary anymore. And this is a change that's happening all across the planet. We've actually been given, I call it a gift that we've been given to allow us to have this time right now to really, truly take advantage of it. Yeah, it's because it's like this is what this awakening is for you to go inside your body, inside your mind, inside your heart to really take a look at all that and just learn learning to love and embrace yourself and finding out those things that are blocking you from doing that. So it's really taken a really good look at yourself, which a lot it's really scary, a little scary for some people. Yeah. So let's, we want to release that fear. So it's like, it's like, as soon as that fear comes up, you got to say, this is just all part of the change. This is part of the awakening. And I'm going to choose love and I'm going to choose gratitude and compassion for myself and for others. Yeah. And you're going to feel the feelings that come up because that's what's happening. When we get still, we start to feel, we run around trying not to feel. So here we are having all this opportunity to, to be still. So then we have to feel what we feel. And what we typically do is try to label it. And so try not to do that. Just let it come up, feel it, and let it integrate. Because it's right. happening. Yeah, because you don't have to like, oh, well, it's like you can say, it's like, oh, this is anger, or this is sadness, or this is grief. And you don't have to like, oh, this comes from when I was four years old, and da, 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 and da, da, da. It's like, I'm just going to let this go now. I don't need to know all the details of this. I just know this energy is coming up. And I'm going to allow it to be released. And it's like you can ask your higher self to like, oh, well, show me any blocks that are keeping me from releasing this. And if you ask it in a question, it'll show you. And you might not even get a definitive answer, but you just want to release those blocks. Then it'll just say, yeah, OK, we'll let that go, too. So that's a process that you can work on. Yeah, and anything that happens over, you know, the next month, it's all just letting us go deeper and deeper inside ourselves. So if we get quarantined in our home for a longer period of time or we lose our Internet, it's all just a period of allowing us to really be with ourselves and not be on TV or the Internet, but really, really center inside yourself. Yeah, you an opportunity. It's all going to be fine. Yeah, it's, an yeah it's a huge, huge opportunity. It's like so you want to take advantage of it because your life it just shows you what's so important. If you can really take a look at the value of who you are and what you are just by being. So anyway, anything else on that, Carolee? <laughs> yeah, we're so many of us are programmed to do, do, do. So we have that, oh, I'm so good if I do. I'm so much better if I do. And so letting that go is super, super important at this time. And some of you might be saying, well, I don't know how to let that go. You just bring it into your consciousness. You tell your higher self you're going to let it go. And then you start feeling the feelings and things that happen as you let it go. And it will go if you stick with that process. Yeah, because the, the TV, the Internet, running here, running there, that's all a distraction to keep you from looking within. Yeah, it's like all the sports. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like, a, it's like I can't watch my sports. I can't do this. It's like, it's like that. Yeah, that's distraction. The news is a distraction to keep you from, from looking, you know, within yourself. Because that's where all the answers are within you. They're not outside of you. Yeah, that's the big thing we're discovering. You know, deep inside your heart is every piece of information that's ever existed in this reality. And it's inside you. So as you begin to really clear out all the mess that's in the way, you can get to that information really easy so here we are in this great awakening <laughs> yeah I just and I want to just add one thing which has nothing to do with all that is like we have some new callers and some new listeners and I just want to let everybody know that Carolee and I don't heal anybody we just facilitate um, the energy to be able to empower you to heal yourselves so that's what we do it's like so anything you want to add to that Carolee <laughs> Yeah, you're healing yourself. We're just seeing things, giving you some guidance and information, but it's you who are healing you and you who called in to receive that guidance. So Julia and I just connect our guidance with your guidance and the information comes. So on that note, we're going to go to a short commercial break and then coming up after the break, we'll start to take our callers um, here on the show. I'm your host, Carol Lee, with my co-host, Julia, and we are here on a call to heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. And we're here to facilitate a healing for you. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Baby boomers face many challenges, and sometimes you have to reinvent yourself in order to stay on top. Sharon Ball, nurse practitioner and Christian life and wellness coach, can help. Sharon has written a book called Reinventing Yourself Today, and it can help you through the pangs of changing the course of your life. Whether you are looking to stay on track with new goals, a sensible program to help you shed unwanted pounds, or a full kick-butt life reinvention, Sharon can work with you. Follow your passions and live each day according to your dreams and free yourself from the expectations of others. Sharon comes from the heart and shares her own personal journey to reinvention with her clients. Other self-help books inspired her, but few gave her the steps to improve her life, so she created a plan that works. Stress no more. Let Sharon Ball open the door. Sign up for a complimentary life reinvention consultation today at tinyurl.com forward slash get started for free for more of what life has in store. Welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julia and Carolee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we were just talking about going within and really working on yourself during this time. And now we're going to take our first caller. Marin, is our, we have on the line. Are you still there, Marin? Yes, I am. So, Maren, would you tell us where you're calling from and let us know how Carolee and I can assist you this evening? I'm calling from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I am I am ready to let go of my attachment to allergies. I want it cleared from my DNA. I want to just say hasta la vista allergies. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going into your DNA, and I'm seeing all these little light, um, they're like little yellow bumblebees showing up. So they have all this pollination in it as far as that goes. So we're just going to bring in, they're saying to bring in sunshine and light into that so that that can balance. Carly, what else are you seeing with those? Anything? Yeah, I'm seeing an implant that she has going straight across the high heart. And it's really stabbing my high heart. And this implant, well, the message that I'm getting from this is that if she starts to really move into clearing her DNA and activating within her this high aspect of herself, she's got a self-sabotaging implant in there to make that to make her get sick. So are you ready to get rid of this? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I want you to see in your mind's eye across your high heart, which is above your heart. Okay. And it looks mm-hmm. like a shield, like an oval shield going, going across your chest. And that on the four corners of the round edges of the shield are these like probes that are sticking in there. So I want you to just with your hands and your mind, just take this off. It'll, it'll just glide off. And through your healing team, we're going to release all connections of that that run through your body, and we're releasing all vows and contracts and anything of similar origin intent that allowed this to come in place. This is ancient. It's from Atlantis, okay? Okay. And I want you to just take that off and be like Titanic and toss it into the ocean. Give it back to Earth. And we're going to ask with grace and ease because it just gave me a nauseous feeling. Yeah, I got a lot of pain there, too. Yeah. It's really heavy. Yeah, a lot of... uh, yeah, and we're asking that everything connected to this, any further programs that could be there that we're unaware of that we keep sabotaging are gone and released with this, that everything is now conscious and no longer active, whether we know about okay. it or not, okay? So I know that doesn't mm-hmm. make sense, but it does. So yeah, let's bring, let's bring, <laughs> yeah, let's bring the Flower of Life disco ball in to illuminate this because there's some hidden pieces in there that we're not seeing. And just really light this high heart up into the lower heart, into the 
chakra four. These are okay, in that high heart are your flames of love, wisdom, and power. And so we're just going to merge with them the star rays of love, wisdom, and power to really activate this to the highest level possible. And again, with grace and ease and what's perfect for all of our bodies, everyone who's listening, it's perfect for your body. There we go. Okay, now all those little buzzing bees should be disappearing and the full activation of your DNA of releasing your allergies can be shifted now without any consequence. How's that feeling, Lauren? Um, Feeling like a little bit tingly around my collarbones. And also, like, some <laughs> heaviness on my sternum. Okay, like yeah, that's why I still have up. some. Yeah, I still that's have some heaviness there. Too. Yeah. There's still some, there's still still something there. Let's go to the back of the okay. heart. Um, onto that shadow side. So it's like, it's really looking at that grief. It's like, um, so let's, let's just flood so there's that. There's like, there too. Yeah, yeah, there's guilt and grief there. So let's just release that guilt and grief. And let's just flood that area, the back of your heart, with divine forgiveness and divine compassion for yourself and for others. Okay. And let's cut any cords of attachment that are feeding this. Okay, and this is fruity. Okay, so this is different. So they're putting a, it's a pineapple gel. So I'm not sure what the pineapple represents. So they're just flooding that back of your home. heart. It means welcome home. Okay. okay. So they're just okay. flooding that area, the back of your heart with the pineapple, the welcome home energy. And there's three locks on that sternum. They're rusted and they're old. So this is still hiding something or holding something in there. So you ready to let these locks go, Marn? Yes. Okay. So there's keys there, but since it's rusty, so we're going to bring in some spiritual WD-40 and spray the locks so the keys work. And we're going to unlock these. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way I see things. It's like I can't. It's like they have a sense of humor. I can't help myself. It's like so they're unlocking. There goes lock one. Lock two. It's like, and part of you has a fear. It's like, oh, these protect me. And it's like, no, they're imprisoning you. So let's bring in education so we can let that third lock go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we're just going to dissolve those rocks. You're going to throw them into the ocean with that other plate. There we go. So how's that feel? That feels a little bit better in my sternum. How's it feeling in yours now? Yeah, I don't feel the heaviness now. Okay. I'm getting to give you the message that um, Atlantis was what it was. And even though the time now parallels it, here we are again. This is our time to move in a new direction. Okay. And so you awakening and you moving just the way you are and being who you are is perfect for who you are right now. Okay. Okay. Wow. So I'm being drawn to the top of her head. And um, so I see Sir Topham hat, hat, and that always means um, your own business, your own, um, like, company, like your own work, okay, not working under someone else, all right? Like, yes. Okay, so I either do. you're doing that, do you do that now? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to release the – hat okay so that this can expand in the new way of the new earth are you ready for that yes okay and so <laughs> you're standing there and you have on leadership robes okay are you ready to upgrade yes. these upgrade these leadership robes yes thank you yes i'm yeah so we're going to upgrade them into the starlight energies okay so just see this uh -huh. magnificent robe that you're wearing, and now it's changing into rainbow gem star ray. Okay, however that's going to look for you is perfect for you. 
Okay, and you're releasing okay. that hat, so therefore the crown can be even more free. Okay, and this is letting go of the old ways of navigating on Earth and opening up to the new ways of navigating the new community of Earth. Okay. Wow, thank you for that, Marin. Yeah, yep, I'll take <laughs> yeah. it. Thank you. Over my whole body. <laughs> I feel relieved. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Just there's let some... that integrate for a second. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm seeing some cording that's in the back of her neck that's tied into her third eye that's also tied into her crown that's um, distorting information and her intuitive gifts. So we want to re release that. Are you ready to let that go, Marin? Yes. Okay, so it's all tangled up. So we're just asking your security team, your technical team to come in and remove these old cords, these old frayed cording. And so it's like we'll remove that, especially with the upgrade with your new system. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that is allowing now, that's going to allow that true expansion of the cranial. So just feel that, feel how light that feels now. Yeah. We're just bringing that into, bringing that into balance for you. I feel like the back of my head stretching. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because there's this cord, so it's like they're just removing that, and we're just going to put a soothing um, liquid light there. It's a fuchsia color with strands of turquoise and teal in it and some platinum and gold as well, and that's just state running from the top of your crown down the back of your skull, down the back of your neck, and all the way down your spine, and just feel that soothing through, and that's then it's from there it's going out into all your um, meridians and capillaries and your bone structure. All right. Well, I'm, well, that makes me a little feel a little light and fuzzy. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I'm getting that her her protection team is going to expand threefold. So these are like your guardian angels, the beings that are all around you. Okay, and it's now expanding triple the number that it is now. And this is just to aid you in the new energies that are coming for you, with you, through you. Okay. And and they're asking okay, you so. to definitely to definitely open the communication lines with them and ask and talk to them and, and communicate with them on a conscious level as well. Okay? That's the message I'm getting there. Okay. Okay. And so we welcome them. Yes. And these are just yeah, higher aspects. Uh, these are yeah, just high, more aspects of you. Yep, they're just <laughs> higher aspects of you. They're nothing from the outside. It's just higher aspects of you. Just want to be clear with that. Okay. All right. I'm being drawn to her ankles and it's like, there's these vines, um, sticker, sticker vines wrapped around. So it's like, and they're just like causing irritation around the ankles. Um, so you're ready to let these go. I think they're keeping you from moving in direction. It's like, it's like they've got you tied down. So you ready to let those go? Yes. Do you have any issues with your lower legs, your ankles, or your feet? No, I don't. Okay, good. <laughs> just, just checking to see if it meant yeah. anything else. <laughs> it's emotional. Yeah. There it's going. Now I'm seeing her feet just squishing in the sand with the water from the ocean and all that's just oh. great so just allow that emotion to move as well as all that air which is mental stuff to go along with it there we go release and release and letting it all flow okay you moved a ton of energy so you need to drink a ton of water okay it'll just help and aid you through everything that's transforming okay. within your body okay Yes, thank you. You're welcome. And on that note, we thank you so much, Marin, and we are going to go to a commercial break. So we uh, thank you for listening to Julie and I here on A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. We are here to facilitate a healing for you. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analysts wanting to know how short sales impact your business. Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy to understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julia and Carolee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we had a wonderful healing with Marin. And now we have our second caller. I believe it's Joya. Joya, are you there? Yes, I am. So, Joy, would you let our listeners know where you're calling from and tell us how Carolee and I can assist you this evening? I'm calling from Florida, and I would like help with uh, what is probably a self-worth issue. I like to raise my sense of self-worth so that I can attract in uh, more money and also more love. Okay. So... Let's let's just go to your belief system. We're going to go right there. So let's go into your heart, into that tiny space in your heart where all the beliefs are stored. And I just want you to envision this beautiful holographic wall and put your hands on that wall. And let's release or diminish the belief that I am not worthy enough. Release or diminish at this time whatever is appropriate. I am not worthy enough. Release or diminish the belief, I don't deserve anything more than I have. Release or diminish the belief, I don't even deserve what I have. Can you feel that shifting in you? Just see, know, or feel it happening. So let's also release and diminish that I am unlovable. Release or diminish the belief that I am unlovable. Okay. So, Carly, what do you see? We're releasing them in past, present, future, and parallel realities. Okay. And we're being, I'm being drawn to our two year old self. So, Joya, just see a little two-year-old self in your mind's eye. And just let me know when you can imagine her. Yep, got her. Okay, and I want you to sit her on your lap. She's sitting, like, on your knees, and she's facing you. And you're holding her body, and you're looking in each other's eyes. And you're going to tell her that you are so loved, that you're loved by the world, that you're loved by where you come from, creator, the energy, that you're loved by yourself, that yourself loves you, and that, of course, you love her. And she's going to love you right back. And you're both going to share this love. You're going to feel the heart energy radiating back and forth from each of you as you stare into each other's eyes. And we're just going to, like, take a little seconds here for that. 
Okay. And then she's going to give you a little gift and you're going to give her a little gift and you can place it in each other's heart. And that's just going to solidify this energy and allow it to continue to expand. And it's going to expand from her two-year-old self all the way up to the you now. And you're both holding this energy, this love, this light of you loving you, of you being loved by the entire reality and all that's in it. There. How's that feeling? Mm. Hard to describe. <laughs> I, have, I have tears coming. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Yep. So because that's a release. Kiss yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kiss yeah. her and, and let her go. Let her go back into your heart. Just give her a kiss and say goodbye and thank her. She's always there with you and you're always with her. Mm. Perfect. I'd say between all that clearing and then all that activating, you're going to really be loving yourself. (laughs) Thank you. Perfect. So I'm getting for us to go to when she was 12. So what happened? Did something significant happen when you were 12? This is like fifth, sixth grade, somewhere in there. Um, No, my best. Parents got divorced, I believe, when I was in fifth grade, and yeah, things just okay. got really tough from there. Okay, so there's abandonment issues there that I'm seeing. So I want you to bring that 12 year old in, and it's like she's got her arms crossed, and so she's a little defiant. So you might have to just ease her into it. <laughs> Can't imagine that, right? <laughs> but I want yeah. you to tell her. Let me know when you see her. Mm-hmm. And I want you to tell her that the parents' divorce had nothing to do with her. That she was no way responsible for any of that. And clear any imprint or programming that's associated with that, any cords of attachment that are still in place from that time period of your life. And tell her that you will always be with her. Yeah, go ahead, Carly. There's a lot of unconscious anger there, so we're going to ask for that to begin integrating from that 12-year-old self on upward to you. Go ahead, Joel. Yeah. So I just want you to um, tell her it's okay to be pissed, that it's okay to be mad, it's okay to be angry, and, and, but, and it's okay to feel what she feels. But we want to release that guilt, thinking that she did something wrong, okay. release, the, release the anger, and the resentment she has towards both her parents. And just flood her and you with divine forgiveness and compassion for self and others. And just see the shift in her. She's more relaxed. She's leaning into you. She's hugging you. And tell her you're always there for her. And that you love her. And just allow that energy, that transmuted energy, to travel up into the woman you are now. And allowing that DNA coding to shift. And see, know, or feel this happening. How's that that for you now? This one's a little bit more stubborn, honestly. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, she is, and you're going to have to work on that. So what I would, I'm going to recommend is you're going to have anger come on. I can guarantee that you're probably going to have anger things coming up over the next couple of days because she's releasing this and letting it go. So find a pillow <laughs> and, and just scream and yell into the pillow and let that anger out however it comes out, you know, in a safe way. Don't stuff it back in, okay? So if, you're, if you get irritated, say, oh, that's my 12-year-old being pissed off. Okay, I'm honoring that. Let her have her tantrum. Let's let it out. Let's let it go. Ooh, okay? Because she's just stuffed it all before. So she needs to let it out. So it's going to come out in different ways, okay? Mm-hmm. I know you don't sound too thrilled about that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it's the whole okay, thing. It's okay, though. Yeah. It, it'll it'll happen because you're being conscious of it now and just feeling it. And it, it, you can ask for it to come, like Julia said, slowly over the next few days and not wham at you. And you can begin to really integrate this and, and change it. 
Okay. 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 Um, I'm being drawn to our solar plexus from there. That's that's where I was going too. So <laughs> <laughs> perfect. And so um, seeing one of our familiar cages here, and this is this is shielding that you have put into place that limits your power. Okay. Are you ready to let this go? Yes. Okay, so we're asking that anything that's bound in contracts, anything in similar large intent that has locked us in place can be released at this time. And so just see a key in your mind's eye and see yourself unlocking this cage. It goes all the way around your body. It kind of goes up into the heart and down into the second chakra, all the way down to the root, actually. And let's let this go. Just, just release it, letting it go. There we go. Okay, and we're going to surround you with violet light to clear anything that needs to be cleared that was there from that cage and any energy that's connected to that cage. We're releasing it at this time. And there's going to be an expansion of the solar plexus that's radiating out now. You might even feel that. And we're just going to ask that the chakra come into balance now and stabilize and integrate. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and now we ask that all the chakras integrate with this chakra. So that chakra was pretty closed down. I don't know if you felt victim or if you felt powerless a lot in your life, but it's opening up now. So there's going to be a, a difference in how you navigate your reality. So we're asking for balance nice. for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Balance and ease with all that. Mm. Okay. And with that, let's release, let's release any victim energy from this lifetime any past lifetimes, future lifetimes, or any other timelines and all dimensions, releasing that victim energy as well? And that's, that's okay. So there's some cords of attachment through the back of that solar plexus that has some agreements that you made. It's like that you would never do this or you never do that because of circumstance in previous lifetimes. So we're going to release those cords of attachment mm -hmm. And any karmic ties to those past lives. So I just want you to feel a beautiful, it's a platinum bomb. And what it is, it's coming down from the back of your neck and down the back of your spine. And what it is, it's releasing any cords that are attached there. And then this beautiful fuchsia pink bomb is coming down and it's just sealing it so they can't reattach. How's that feeling for you? Mm. Yeah, it feels, um, again, kind of hard to describe. <laughs> Maybe um, comforting is a word. Okay, well, it feels good, right? <laughs> That's it's like, it's almost, yeah, it's a, yeah. Almost, <laughs> okay. almost like I felt like a massage there or something. Yeah. So, so a lot of the stuff that we're telling you is just to bring your conscious mind to it so that you're aware of what this is all about. So that when stuff comes mm -hmm. up that's related to this, it's like, oh, that has to do with my 12 year old. Oh, that has to do with my two year old. I'm going to just let that go. I'm letting all that go now. Okay. So, mm -hmm. because we're digging into some deep stuff, deep stuff for you. So, um, they're saying it's like, you're going to get messages or you're going to get thoughts and you just want to acknowledge them and honor them and have gratitude for them and then let it go. Don't, you don't have to dig in deep and try to figure out why it's there. Okay. okay. Cause it's like mm -hmm. our monkey mind wants always to know, Oh, why am I, why is this happening? Or what's that? It's not about that. It's just about the co concept of letting it go. Anything else you see there, Carolee? No, but I see thousands of butterflies. So it's just transformation, transformation. So what a beautiful gift. They're like all around you and flying and you're spinning inside them. <laughs> so that's beautiful. Thank you for that. And I see your 12-year-old and 2-year-old dancing in the butterflies too. So they came out to party with you as well. Mm. So it's like, it's like you're almost, you're almost doing, you're just, you're dancing and you're flowing and you're like laughing and you have your fairy, fairy dresses on and you're playing with the butterflies, all three of you. Wow, mm. I want to join in. I'm going to go have myself a party after this is done. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Okay, I think she is complete there. I don't think. Yeah, I think we're just going to do a we're just going to do a, re, a little a little reboot here of all that stuff she got rid of. Mm-hmm. So let's, mm-hmm. like I said, we have that recycle. We're going to empty the trash, run your defrag, clearing any residual, and rebooting seven, fourteen, twenty one, twenty eight, thirty five, forty two, forty nine, fifty six, and recalibrating your DNA, bringing your bodies, your shockers, and everything into balance. Okay, well, on that note, we are going to go to a short commercial break, Mm -hmm. and we're so grateful for you calling in, Joya. Thank you. And coming up after the break, we'll take our final caller, and I'm your host, Carol Lee, with my co-host, Julia, and we are here on A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. There are artists, and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians, and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History and the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Le Colde Beaux Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20 year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com, and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julia and Carol Lee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we had Joya. And now we have our final caller, Lisa. Lisa, are you there? Yes, I am. Lisa, would you let our listeners know where you're calling from and how Carolee and I can assist you this evening? I'm calling from Kenosha, Wisconsin. And I just want to let you know, I can feel a ton of energy when you girls do your work. I'm so grateful. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I I would like some help facilitating removal of, um, I'm developing a cataract in my right eye. And I would like some help with clearing that in both eyes and um, a lot and um, I'm ready to bring some new love into my life and I'd like some help facilitating that. Okay. So being drawn of course right to that third eye area and so they're asking before they said tonight you can even have a surgery done there. Would you be willing and ready for that? Yes. Okay. So in order to be ready for that, we need to remove um, seven levels of shielding. Are you ready to let seven levels of shielding go? Yes. Okay. So just see it as that you have blindfolds on and you're taking off seven blindfolds. Okay. <laughs> so imagine mm-hmm. that. Okay. And now we're going to place a... Oh, a rainbow bomb across. So that's kind of like the doctors getting ready to, you know, they're cleaning that area for what's going to happen here. Okay. And there's old programming that you have to age, that your eyes have to get old, that you're ready to let go of. So we're going to release that, okay, through your DNA and also through the chambers of false programming and belief in the heart. Okay, now we're calling upon your healing team. Your healing team is going to come in and they say they're going to do a surgery on you overnight. 
okay? So anyone else who's listening who wants this on their eyes, your healing teams will come tonight and work on your eyes releasing all the energies there so that uh and bringing in new energy so that your eyes will rejuvenate themselves so are you ready for that yes okay, me too so we're going to accept that <laughs> yeah everybody's listening you can have it accept it with gratitude you know your eyes don't have to get old we don't need our glasses okay so they're also showing me um energy coming from the eyes and going into the back of the head and we're going to ask that all of this flow beautifully and easily so that none of us have to have any pain. And we ask that the head and the crown and the third eye all expand beautifully to accommodate this new energy. And we're just going to flood with gratitude to our healing team. Okay. And we're giving thanks for that. Okay, Julia. All right. So I'm being drawn down to your your hips um, and your root chakra. And so Mm -hmm. when you came, I'm going to take you back to when you were in the womb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's right. All right. So what we're going to do is we just want to, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, So we just want to bring you back to the original template of what was, what the plan was when you came in, what you thought you signed up for. (laughs) It's like, Okay, and we want to just ask that we renegotiate that contract. So I just want you to see your um, your your council, your galactic council, okay. because you, you're a, you know you are a, from a you know you are a star being, so you have that galactic DNA. Yeah, and we just want to release all the fears and the commitment and the feelings and the beliefs of betrayal, because it's like. You feel like there's a part of you that feels like, yeah, you signed up for this, but they d- forgot to tell you the fine print, and you even knew that in the, <laughs> you even knew that in the womb. So let's just bring an education to the to that being that's in the womb now, and renegotiate that so that you have a better understanding of really why you're here and that you're fully supported, so that you can really recognize your support team. And just feel how that's changing for you and shifting for you. And then we're just going to bring you out through the womb, through the birth canal, and then fully balance you as a newborn so that your DNA and your physical body um, can calibrate to the Earth's frequencies at that time with ease. And then allow that to flow through into the woman you are now. And just see, know, or feel that shift. That all makes sense to you? Because that was a lot. Okay. Yes. I've been told uh, by another energy worker that uh, my, I have a, I have a congenital sacral, or I don't anymore. Uh, I, I, I. Yeah, just let that go. It's all right. That's okay. I just want yeah. I just want to make sure it makes sense to you. So I'm just uh, it's just confirmation to you. And there's also other shifts and changes happening related to that. And then what I what we want to do here, um, I just want you to close your eyes, and I just want you. To, we're just gonna. I just want you to see this. It's a beautiful violet blue planet, and it's from where you you your last. The, your last galactic carnation came from and it's where you had joy and you had lots of love. So I just want you to open the communication beam so that you can fully connect with them and receive information and support from them clearly because they're there for you. It's just that the communication lines are a little distorted. So we're just opening that up. How's that okay, feeling we're for go you? Up. Go ahead. Go ahead, Carly. No, I want to hear how she's feeling. I feel really good, and I've been receiving downloads, um, and I so I know that they're there, and I know what you're talking about, and I yeah, I've been asking to hear them more clearly. So thank you. <laughs> and I feel I feel <laughs> I feel um, more peace. 
Okay, Good. Great. Well, where they were taking me before she asked that was to your ears because of what we did with your eyes. So now we have need to go to the ears to bring that into balance. So let's go up to the ear canal. Okay. And we're going to release the plugs that are there and the implants that are there. Is that what's okay, going so on? This, yeah, you, you take it an implant so that you could hear them, but you outgrow it. So now you're not quite hearing them the way you used to, and it's it's because you don't need them anymore. Your connection is there now, and so let's just take them out. So just imagine taking earplugs out of your ears. Okay, and so these are really implants, though, and I'm seeing them running from your eyes, ears, crown, down through your throat, into your solar plexus. So we're going to clear all that, letting it all go, releasing anything that's locking it in place, being grateful and giving thanks. And knowing now that you have all that you need to hear here and see. So not only will your outer 3D eyes start shifting and changing, but your inner eye will also, okay? Yes. Yeah, and so your sense of knowing is going to go exponential also. So always be aware that all three of them are really working within you. And they're giving me the message again to tell you that you are a leader of what's happening here in the reality. And again, that your teams will be escalating and expanding also to aid you in the work that you'll be doing as you step forward in a whole brand new way. Okay? Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're We're welcome. excited for all of us. <laughs> yes. So, thank you. Thank you. So Julia's going to reboot you on that note, and then we're going to end. So thank you so much. Go ahead, Julia. So we're going to empty your recycle bin, your trash, run your defrag, reboot 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, and recalibrate the DNA. All right. There. And Lisa, thank you so much for calling in. We are so, so grateful. And we just want to thank everyone for tuning into our show on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. We want to thank you for listening to us on a call to heal today. Remember, you are the radiant one. Stay heart-centered and connected to your infinite awareness inside you and really take advantage of these times to go within. The goddess is truly here. Good night, everyone. You've been listening to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carolee and Julia. Join us each week and be the best you can be on the next episode of Carolee and Julia's A Call to Heal. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.